Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your monthly forecast horoscope for love, wealth, and health. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com, so all the information is in the description box below. All right, my darling. So, I took up too much of your time. All right, so what we're gonna do is. I know, I listen, I read your comments. Um, so I know last time with the mid-monthlies, I was trying a new approach where, you know, I was looking at the blockages, all those kinds of things, but I'm gonna make it very clear cut, okay guys? Because I, I, I know they're here for you. You wanna hear for a straightforward reading. So I'm gonna break it up into three different parts. All right, we're gonna cover first love, wealth, and health. And I'm also gonna break it up into three different parts of the month. So the first half of June, the second or the middle more part of June, and then the last half of June, okay? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, or you can do both. Let me jump right in. All right, so what's gonna happen with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for June? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look. And I'm gonna do an overall energy here. All right, so it's gonna happen to my Cancers. Overall energy for the romantic love life for June. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look, Cancer. And I already know from the other uh, readings that I did that this, these cards just don't wanna fit right. So let's just move that one there and let's move this one here. Okay, and the overall deck, overall energy for this deck anyway is, hmm, there is a love connection here. I do feel like you guys are seeing eye to eye. There may be a more than one opportunity coming in actually. We're gonna have to see as we clarify further. You guys are finally finding your direction here. Okay, let's take a look at this. So Cancer, also remember you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these cancer make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. All right, let's make sure I get them all in there. Oh my goodness, look at that last card there. Wow, okay. So overall energy on this part of this deck is two of cups energy. Okay, so something to do with love, a love connection, something that you're gonna feel very complete and accomplished with. All right. There is some romance coming in. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen here. So first half, June, okay? Middle of June, and then the end of June, which, wow, I can't wait to get to the end of June. Okay, so we see in the first half of June, there's a very nurturing, supportive energy. There's someone who's really trying to be there for the other person, and it's like, I just wanna be here for you. I just wanna support you. Um, I'm gonna help you any way that I can, okay? Because it does look like there is heartache here. I feel like this person seems to be very heartbroken about you, Cancer. And it looks like this person is ready to make some kind of sacrifice, even though someone is trying to hold them back from doing that. You see how this person's like trying to move forward towards you and then the other person's like, no, 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 what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? And um, now, since I feel like for me, this feels like a mother energy, okay? I don't know why, but this feels like a mother energy so for some of you, okay? I feel like there is somebody in someone's, in, in this person's family, could be a mother energy, or someone who's trying to be there for that person that's trying to like kind of like hold them back from coming forward here. And this person's like, if you look here, it's like, you're trying to speak to this person. This person's like, I know, I know, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying to, 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 to deal with this situation, but I don't know if I want to deal with this situation. So it's like, there's some stuff going on here where this person wants to come forward, and they're so heartbroken about you, but they're, it's like they're letting this other person hold them back from walking away from this situation. But they're, they're, they're ready to do it though, with the Eight of Cups energy here. It looks like they're ready to go for it. Okay. So we're gonna have to see where this goes here with this situation, because it's, it's, it's causing a lot of heartache, a lot of emotions are at play here. It's, it's, um, it's a bit of shock to the system here, I feel like also. And um, I feel like this person's just like, okay, I know what you want from me, but I really love this person. I'm really heartbroken about this person. I really wanna walk away from this situation so I can be with cancer. So let's see what this is about. 
got my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for the month of June. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see the gift card energy. We see the distant horizons. We see the official person. We see the main person. We see great fortune. We see journey, pathway, justice, and thoughts. Mm -hmm. So main person could be you, could be the love interest. Very interesting that it is right on top of the sacrifice card, right? Right on top of that card where that person's like ready to just kind of like break away from their situation, okay? So it's like they really want it to be with you and they feel like very brokenhearted because they know that this, this connection has value to them. And uh, it's been a long road. It's been a long road here, okay? And there's a want to walk away from that situation to be with you, Cancer. And it looks like this person's trying to take the steps to do that at the beginning of June. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. So what's going to happen? My, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for the month of June. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, so we literally have the soulmate card. Oh my God, Cancer. This person feels that you're their soulmate. They feel heartbroken about this situation. They feel like they have so much value from this connection. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, look at that. They're all going to make a power move. Look, it's right over the sacrifice card. They're about to make a power move. Okay, and we see there is the mother energy. I do feel like some of you are dealing with a mother that's trying to hold someone that your love interest back. It's like, I'm, I know that their heart is in the right place, so I'm not going to be mean about that, but we see the nurturing card coming out. Okay, so we see money, we see isolation, we see indecisions, okay, confusions. Okay, let's see at the bottom of the deck. Hopeful energy, but some challenges and delays when it comes to happiness. Okay, so going further here on this information here, it's like there is this soulmate connection. And they're about to make this power move, even though that there is this nurturing, supportive energy trying to help with the situation. It seems like it's like I want to walk away from that situation. I want to I want to be with cancer. Cancer is my soulmate connection. OK, so let's see what's going to happen now for the middle of June. OK, so it looks like they're going to go the distance. OK. You guys are going to have a victory. Why? Because there's feelings here and there's a want to fulfill dreams. And it looks like, yes, there's movement, a lot of energy being put behind this because of loving messages. You guys are going to receive some kind of messages from this person and they're going to be romantic messages. And it's very hopeful here. Okay. All right. Going down a little layer here for the second half of June here, there will be some arguments or fights about this fortune here, okay, or money could be involved also with these arguments and fights here. We see great fortune, okay, or the Ace of Pentacles energy could be saying there's huge potential for a long-term commitment. It's a very fortunate situation and they're ready to fight for this connection, okay. And we go to the last half here of the middle part of June. So obviously there's three people involved with this situation, but there's a decision to make a choice here, okay. I want to find a creative solution. I want to work together. I want to make this decision because I'm at a crossroads. So we see that they are ready to fight for this connection cancer. Okay. So it looks like in June, the first half of June, it's like they were just about to kind of like, all right, I'm ready to make a power move. I don't want this person to hold me back. And then it's like, all right, let's go the distance here. And then by the end of June, you guys see the change here. You're seeing the change in the wind and you're gaining knowledge of this power move that this person is making and it's going to be so sudden guys it's going to take you by surprise here this is the the knight of swords energy it's a sudden action that's going to be taken you're going to gain knowledge this person's really thought about it they've thought about it and you've been waiting for this there's changes happening for you guys they may even travel towards you with that journey card energy but you're going to see some big changes coming in and it's going to cause you some confusions in your thoughts guys because there is a huge potential here with this person. Uh, there's an offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles energy. Oh my God, Cancer, oh my God, oh my God, Cancer. That's awesome, that's awesome. So let's bring it all together. All right, 
So we see there's this nurturing supportive energy, but a person who wants to go, this person wants to go the distance to be with you. And you're gonna see some big changes coming in for you guys in the month of June. All right, so we see there's a soulmate connection, romantic feelings, you're gaining knowledge. This power move is being made for a huge potential here. There's a lot of deep, heavy soul searching about this, nurturing supportive energy or a motherly kind of energy and some indecisions that cause some confusions. Okay, so Cancer, let's keep going here. Another layer, bring it all together here. There is uh, something of value here in fulfillment of uh, the dreams and a power move that's being made. Main person, great fortune, changes here. Some long-term planning and a decision that they've been thinking about. Mm -hmm. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Mm -hmm. It's one of them months. It's one of the months. Okay. Heartache about communication. Swift action being taken to make a sacrifice because of arguments and fights about waiting for the right opportunity. Walking away from a third-party situation or infringing connection for an offer. An offer. A huge beginning. A new beginning. A new offer. Yes. It's coming in. Ace of Pentacles energy. Something you've been waiting for. It's going to happen fast, swift. All right. So, Cancers, let's take a look. More information for your overall for the month of June. All right. So, what's going to happen with the overall energy from my beautiful Cancers for the month of June for the romantic life? Show me the cards I need. See? Show me the cards I need. Two. C. Okay. Ready? Yep, you're gonna have an awareness about this passionate energy. Oh, wow, look, there you go. You're gonna see the signs. Look at that rainbow horse there. Actually, that's a, um, a unicorn. Yes, a unicorn. There's gonna be abundance for you guys. Yes, because they finally take control of the situation. And uh, yes, it's gonna be movement in your situation because they find that strength, courage, and confidence. You've manifested this, guys. You're the second sign is manifested. And look at that, your intuition, you know it. You know it. There's gonna be an expansive opportunity coming in for you guys. Congratulations, Cancer, oh my goodness. All right, so let's move into your career in finance. I'll have my fingers crossed for the career in finance for June. Okay, let's move these cards first. All right, so what's gonna happen my Cancer's career in finance for the month of June? Show me the cards I need, please, see? Show me the cards I need. Two, C, okay, so we have power, okay, revenge, okay, and recognition, okay, that's interesting, let's see how this is going to play out, Cancer, all right, what's going to happen to my Cancer's career and finance for the month of June, show me the cards I need to see, show me the cards I need, two, C, all right, so we have Nine of Wands, Queen of Arrows, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Empress, we have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, oh my goodness, the Two of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Emperor. Oh my goodness, Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, some passionate energy around the situation or creativity. All right, so power. So I feel like you guys have been examining a situation and how to bring things together here. I feel like you are a little bit cautious and defensive about some kind of potential situation that's coming in and you're looking like you're doing some juggling between two different scenarios here or a decision you're gonna have to make. And it's a heavy decision because Ace of Pentacles, excuse me, two pentacles are coming back and forth. So some of you are guys are dealing with a situation where you're trying to balance two different opportunities, okay? Or you're like, okay, you know what? I'm ready to kind of like go do something else while doing my other job at the same time. Because I see there's so much potential for this situation here and I want it to grow. But I'm cautious about, you know, really making a power move on this. So let's, let's go further and see what that's about. Okay, so what's gonna happen with my Cancer's career in finance for the month of June? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so you're cautious here about something being taken away or a loss here. Okay, so we got the gift card. Okay, so, but you're ready for big changes here. Okay, okay. It does, like, you're, you're having the sense that this decision is really going to fulfill your dreams here, okay? You're looking at the bigger picture. That's what I feel like. We see main person card, and we see great fortune. Okay. 
So you are concerned though, you're a little bit cautious, okay, about making this power move. Um, Cause you're like, all right, am I ready for this change? Am I gonna be able to juggle these two different things at once? You know, but I do see that there's potential here for abundance here. We have the Empress card energy because you're seeing like something's really happening with this situation and you're like looking to the future like, yeah, this could be really good. But what happens if I go and I make this decision and I lose? OK, so that's where you're at by the beginning of June. So let's see where you're going to be um, for the middle. OK, so. There are some issues going on here. We see the revenge card. All right, you're 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 looking at some situations that have happened and you're kind of like, oh wow, what the heck, man. Um, and because uh, this truth is coming out, Queen of Swords energy, about something to do with receiving something, something of value, okay, lack of appreciation. There's gonna be a truth spoken about this, all right? There could be also an action being taken, a passionate action or creative action here. Uh, towards some kind of meeting. We see the family room. And we see that, yes, justice can be something legal, just choice, just decision. Um, so you're making a decision about this. So we see there's a truth being spoken about this action and, and this decision. And someone's kind of feeling like angry about it, okay? So be careful about this energy. There's something to do with receiving something or a lack of appreciation or wanting some kind of value and a meeting will be taking place about this. Okay, so. Be cognizant of that because I see the revenge card, so be careful there, okay? So then by the end of June here, and I'm going to bring it all together, don't worry, you guys are getting recognition, okay? Fame, recognition, okay? You're getting recognized. And we see that you're a little bit worried because of some kind of long-term planning or distance here. But we do see, yes, yes, there is this huge potential here, guys, Ace of Pentacles and a stable situation here, house card energy, and this power move you guys are making. So if some of you guys are taking on more responsibility, you're being your own boss, okay, you're taking charge of the situation, and it's it's bringing you a lot of fortune and fame there, okay? I'm not, I, I know for some of you that really means fortune and fame, but others of you, it's saying that you're gonna get a lot of recognition for this decision that you made, okay? Because it's really gonna turn out well for you, okay? And uh, you're going to get recognized for it. I mean, in the middle of the month, it's going to be a little bit trying there. But yeah, through that decision that you made by the end of the month, it's, it's going to be really good. So, all right. So let's bring this all together here. There is this defensive energy about speaking this truth and you're worried about it. But you know there's huge potential and you're ready to take an action on this huge potential uh, opportunity here. So you kind of juggle this decision for a little while. Then you finally make the decision to make the power move and it works out in your favor and it brings you recognition. Okay, because I feel like the revenge part, you're kind of concerned that if you bring that to light that someone's going to try to take revenge or try to like do something against you. So that was the cautionary aspect too. You're kind of like worried about the loss there around that. All right, so my beautiful cancers, let me move this out of the way and let's focus on your health and wellness here. All right, so can I have some uh, advice for cancer health and wellness for the month of June? Show me what I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, wow. Ask your body for a message. Isn't that the truth? Your body always knows. Like, you eat the wrong thing, your body knows. Like, if you're around something that you're allergic to, your body knows. So, it's cancer this month, just pay attention to your body. Your body knows best, okay? And also focus on leaving a stressful situation behind. Well, we saw that in your, your career in finance, also in romance this, this month, was there was gonna be a little bit of trying parts there, but it does look like overall, you guys are gonna, by the end of the month, you're gonna be in a good place. So don't stress out about it. And what did I say? Avoid allergens. Okay, so be cognizant of what you are, you know, some of you guys may have allergies to pollen, okay? So, or just be cognizant, pay attention to what your body is saying to kind of figure out what that allergen is this month, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.